welcome back to another analysis of Mr. John Zerka. This is going to be a good one. I've seen this video and let's just say both of the girls end up getting on their knees. Um, so that's looking forward to coming up right now. Um, but we're going to go through his good stuff. I will only point out, you know, the super important things. I'll try not to pause it too much. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. All right, let's go. And just on a on a side note, um, they were talking about BBC. Now, there's obviously two forms of that. BBC as in the news broadcaster in the UK. And also BBC as in, well, you guys should know, but it's something to do with the male's parts. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see what Zerka can say. You guys don't know what BBC is. No. What about... Okay, so his first line is, is, is kind of like strong, aggressive, but also out there. To be fair, they're already warmed up, by the way. So they're, they're going to be receptive. Blacked. So you know blacked? Sorry? Trump and Biden is over. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, it's going to start again, right? Earth flat. No. Why do you think it's round? That's what I learned in school. I don't know. You were programmed. Yeah, I'm, I'm a sheep, if you want to call it. Good, you were programmed. And look at his face, not smiling, just looking away, being dismissive. He, again, his game is very dismissive. I'm kidding. I didn't. I don't know. The earth is round. Check this out. At eight inches per mile square. Okay, so now, okay, look, this is gold to lower their anxiety, get them to laugh, then grab the number. Also to show intelligence too and to confuse the fuck out of them, to be honest, which is what he's going to do. And they're just like, what is he talking about? But they're also intrigued because he's doing it with such seriousness and passion. Curvature calculations. You should be able to see curvature at 60,000 feet. Weather balloons double the height. They do what was your name? I'm Jaden. Emma. Jaden and Emma. <laughs> these weather balloons double. I'm, I'm coked out a bit, so just okay, okay. these weather balloons. Good. Nice little joke there to to kind of dispel it. Um, again, if you're talking about something serious, maybe it's nice to throw in a little comment. Like, double yeah. the height. They double. They go 120. So I'm pretty sure they have no idea what he's talking about. The Earth feet. is flat. 100 percent on <laughs> Jesus' name. And check this out. Something so wild and out there. That they're, they're laughing because they're just like, this is ridiculous. But they're intrigued because it's like, oh, he believes in something different. Cool. Because you think it's a ball, you're going to hell. Okay. You guys... Okay. Exaggeration. Hey. Okay. You guys believe in hell? Uh, no, I do not personally, no. Why? I'm not religious. What happens when we die, Jaden? I mean, are any of us dead yet? No. I so think, I don't know. I think that you just die, maybe a little bit of your soul reincarnate. Not like actually reincarnation, but... Have you know. done bad things in your life? Yes. Yeah. I've Good. That's a <laughs> it's a great way to to stop bringing up maybe even sexual things. Okay. So it's a like nice little seed to plant to to do that. Um, you could ask that question and then you could be like, actually, you don't need to answer that because I already know you have. I can see it in your eyes. Everyone has. Will you ever be judged for those things? I have been. Oh, by by God. I don't believe in God. And do you guys ever get anxious or depressed? Yeah, I get anxious sometimes. Yeah. It's because... Do you think that's my punishment? No, no, it's not punishment. It's because you have the religion of the canine. You're a... it's, it's kind of interesting that he is now the teacher and they are the student. Let's just say it's a bit of like, it seems like a role play. But the teacher in a classroom setting is the dominant one, the authoritative one, the one that you have to listen to, okay? They are falling into that role of, okay, this guy is teaching me something. I'm going to listen. I'm going to give respect. And so that that's a good sign as well. And they're engaged in the conversation too. Um, Agnostic. You don't care. You just care about sex and food. You and believe, wait, wait, are you like, believe? I'm a pastor. So I'm trying to bring you guys to Jesus. I'm a pastor. And they're just like, hmm, is he really a pastor? He doesn't look like a pastor. He doesn't really sound like a pastor, but it gives that air off mystery. What's it going to take? I don't think, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to go to Jesus. Jaden, I know you want to come with me. Um, I'm... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mistakenly, he <laughs> he made a mistake with the names. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Um, but also, I, th I think that really works in his favor, actually. Because it's like, oh yeah, I don't really care, kind of thing. The careless attitude. Now, yes, yeah, some girls would get annoyed with that. But these girls seem pretty chill, and they're in the good mood and things. If you forget a girl's name, maybe in the first minute or so of a conversation then you know it it might not be they might not be as jokey about it but um this is quite funny. 
<laughs> Jaden, you're coming. And he's laughing along as well. She loves it. This one in the the, the green bikini. Being with me. Forget. What was your name? Emma. Emma, I feel like I can turn you. You can come to God. I'm feeling. I'm feeling. He's calling my name right now. The thing is, as well, look at that. So it's always good. Like I think the one in green likes Zerka because he's been talking to her a little bit more. Um, and I mean, look at her face there compared to the other one. But it's always good to test that liking by talking to the friend. Okay. So once you put your attention on the friend, if the girl that you like, you know, tries to talk to you and get your attention again, that means she likes you. If she doesn't really care, then, you know, she probably doesn't like you that much or you've not built enough attraction yet. What is your body count? <laughs> An outrageous question for, for women to answer, but obviously we know for men, we, we value Real, it. Yeah, I, what, like, what is this? What are we talking go. for? Right We're getting <laughs> Shock factor. We're getting to the root of human nature. What is your body count, Emma? <laughs> Two. Bull dick. What's your body count? Two. Are you calling Mine's me? Mine's two as well. Like, I'm... Two? On my That's like life. impossible. It's no. not impossible. You're two as well? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. And he's laughing and obviously she knows she knows that's not true. Um and I don't think he could keep a straight face. <laughs> you guys that. are killing me. Just two men your whole life. Yes. Two of my boyfriends. <laughs> Alright. And that one was Ryan. Yes. Ryan, Ryan, you're a little bitch, Ryan. Did he take you away from God? Ryan? So that's interesting that he's saying that. He's being very direct and forward. You see, the girl, this one on the left, is getting a little bit bored. This is what you're going to face in real life. If you talk to one girl and a friend is there, and you don't have a wingman, or you don't have a decent wingman, um, yeah, this is this is what's going to happen. So this could this could have gone pretty badly, but I think because of the camera, uh, she likes him and everything, that she's staying put. No, no. He definitely yeah. broke your spirit, though. For a little bit, but my, I'm right back on now. What did he do for a living? parents money he's a pussy he just if i was a lady how can i let someone who works at a restaurant hit it you know what i mean that doesn't make sense it's not about the money it was who he was for a, who he was past tense not his money doesn't matter to you guys no it does it does okay there we go but like if i have enough money my like it's not for if we told you drake is in that car and he wants to no, smash no, no, no. yeah if he's in the honda <laughs> Right? Yeah, he's having a bad day. Yeah, okay. But if he wanted a smash, would you guys say no? no I'd say no. Say no I, I, no, I'd say yes. Honestly. I'd say no. I, I think no, Drake is like big enough where that makes it work. Like that's a yeah. Right. And he's he's not not that bad. The, so that shows you basically status. Status is a huge thing for women. Bad. She's more she's more honest than you, Emma. I personally. I and that's interesting that he remembered her name this time as well. So that will get him a couple of little points. Liar over there. No, I'm not a liar. Like, I actually... We you're, were at... you're saying no to Drake? Yes. No, there's no way she's saying no to Drake. <laughs> if... Look, and you, that, that just shows you kind of like how women think, you know. She's saying no because she feels a little bit pressure. And that she says, yeah, she's going to look like a hoe. But, um... No, she, she, she probably would. Oh, yeah. I'm even pulling your leg. Of course I'd fuck Drake. Well, of course? Well, there you go. Of okay, course. see, the truth comes out from the demons, okay? You just have to leg. dig. Guys, remember, when Drake wants to smash, that's STD Central, right? Yeah. You guys have never had anything. No, you don't want anything. No, I don't. Say no to Drake. Okay. And say yes to Jesus. Okay. Okay. You're, you're making a point. You're making right. a point. Arab, come give. So, <laughs> it's interesting that she this one on the right is is into him because she's taking it in she's soaking all his information in that's what you want to do you want the girl to soak in you all right but for that to happen you have to be a strong enough character you have to have uh, strong enough opinions and defend your opinions and be worthy for her to follow give her the kiss of life no no you guys are coming to christ today come here okay which one are you which one's getting baptized <laughs> so the most this is getting ridiculous and it's funny because he's talking about kiss of life all this kind of stuff but he's not saying that he's gonna do it he's gonna get another girl to do it okay or oh, another girl another guy to do it which who they're not interested in i would argue both of these girls are interested in zirka or at least especially the one in green um so it's interesting how he's 
getting another person to to come in and maybe give him a kiss of life why why is he not volunteering himself what do you think it's because it shows that he's willing to walk away he doesn't really care too much whether or not he gets with them or not he's making it mysterious they're probably thinking oh does he like me or does he not like I don't know like what's going on so it, it kind of gets gets them in their head a little bit which is a good thing because if they're thinking about all this they're basically thinking about you wait let, let's get a thumbnail you guys like pretend to be like i'm drake and you guys are like my bitches like molest me for like a thumbnail no don't be afraid i'm not suing i'm not canceling anyone see i didn't consent i didn't consent to being touched yeah. We edit that part out and we sue these girls. What do you do for a living? I'm a real estate agent. But look how fast his jokes are. His jokes are really fast and pretty good and a little bit out there. You want your jokes to be a little bit out there, all right? And if they fall too hard, you can calibrate and just be like, oh, sorry, I'm just in a good mood and move on. He, it, for his joke, it went really well and he's moved just on anyway. What's your job? A lot of guys get worried about transitional stages. Don't worry about transitions. You move the conversation in whatever direction you see fit. Just make sure that, it, that it's not too logical. Get the fuck out of here. You're a professional? Him too. Uh, Wait, you know Reality Kings? Don't, don't fall for that. <laughs> what do you do besides I COVID? Work in, I work at a restaurant. <laughs> Server. Okay, listen. Here's what we're going to do, okay? Arab, come here. What? Ladies, close your eyes and trust the Lord. And, and did you see that Arab come here or whatever his name is? He... <coughs> he is very uh, Zerka, I mean, very authoritative leader. You can tell he's like the, the leader of this pack. He's dominant, he tells his friends to come here. You know, he's a leader. This is what you need to be. You need to be this guy in your friendship group. Savior. <laughs> Close your eyes, ladies. Trust me on this. Close your eyes, guys. Okay? And again, close your eyes. It's like, it's exciting. It's like, what the fuck is going on? This is exciting for them. I mean, they're obviously nervous as well, okay? But they've spoken to him enough for the nervousness to be more excitement than what the fuck nervous. I, I'm gonna do an exorcism. What? Give me your hands. Put one hand out. Both both hands on me. Dear God, in Jesus' name, let these harlots be rid of their demonic spirits and let them... So they're both having a good time. Again, this is random, random, random. But again, guys, you don't need it to be logical. We'll come back to you in Jesus' name and the Holy Spirit. Let them pray to the Father and let the devil, Ryan, Preach. burn in hell. Preach. Amen. Okay, Amen. Give them a kiss. Hurry up. Let's go. <laughs> Yo. Okay, grab the that, that's so funny how, um, it's so funny how, like, when, if you look at this point, give them a kiss. Like, she's her, this one here in the orange, his face is like, oh no. Hurry up. Let's go. And this one in green is kind of like, no, but she's just joking around with it. I think because, I think because she's into Zerka, so she just sees this as a joke. The orange one here thinks or knows her friend is into Zerka, so... I think this one in orange is just like, oh, so this guy potentially could be for me. Oh, I don't want that. <laughs> Yo, hey, okay, grab um, their number. Let's get out of here. Interesting. Grab their number and let's get out of here. This girl face here in green is just like, what? You're gonna leave us? The f guy is gonna leave us? Why doesn't he want my number? Again, and Zerka is also dictating as well. Leadership. Either with God or you're a Democrat. So that was quite interesting. That was quite a good interaction. Um, he was very nonchalant. He didn't show that he really wanted her. And it made her want him even more. Um, I don't necessarily recommend you do that to, the, to that extent. But you want to keep an air of mystery about you. all right? And that's how you keep the girl interested. Because if, if you're so like obvious in your approach. And if you're so like um, at her feet. And she knows that you com you're completely into her. Then she's going to get a little bit bored. Okay, You can show some interest from the beginning. Then you need to pull back a little bit and just let her invest and just see, okay, is this girl for me? Is she not? Right, that was the end of that segment. Um, I hope you learned a lot. And like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.